Welcome to the 39th Annual Bison Bitters Bowl presented by Gate City Bank. Introducing our Bison Bitters Bowl co-chairs. Greetings, I'm Rob Loff, watching from my home in Fargo. My name is Savannah Welch and I'm coming from you live from St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm Jamie Tate. And I'm Aaron Tate. And we're watching from our lake home in Detroit Lakes. My name is Robbie Loff and I'm a member of the NDSU class of 2015 tuning in from Minneapolis. Welcome to the 39th Annual Bison Bitters Bowl. While we wish we could be together, we're so excited to bring this tradition to you virtually this year. Whether you're dressed in the nines of formal wear or sporting your best bison gear, Share your pictures throughout the program using hashtag NDSUBBB39. Make sure you've registered at bisonbittersbowl.com for your chance at unique auction items. After registering, you'll be sent your unique URL. Click that link and start bidding. We want to thank the Bison Bitter Bowl donors and volunteers. The committee is made up of alumni and friends of NDSU, and each year is a new challenge as we aspire to raise record-breaking dollars. Tonight, your generosity will translate into student support across campus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in and inviting us into your home. And thank you to tonight's presenting sponsor, Gates City Bank. So now, grab a snack. Tonight's special cocktail. And your phone for mobile bidding. Take it away, Dan and Kirsten. And with that, we welcome you to the 39th Annual Bison Bitters Bowl presented by Gate City Bank. Boy, do we have a fun <laughs> evening planned for you. We're dressed to the nines, by the way. Yes, we are. Thank you to our co-chairs, Rob, Savannah, Robbie, Jamie, and Aaron for the welcome. And thank you for planning a great evening for everyone. So all of you watching at home or wherever you're watching from, sit back and relax. We will take it from here. I'm Kirsten Keeley alongside Dana Mock from WDAY News, a job we've had for just a few years. We are so happy to be here tonight for our first Bison Bitters Bowl. And for the next hour or so, we are here to celebrate and support NDSU in a time when the need has never been greater. Thank you for joining us, first of all. We've had to do things a little <laughs> different this year, you can see. We're filming and coming to you live from the NDSU McGovern Alumni Center. And while our set and location are different this year, we do have the same great auction items that you have come to love and expect. And I am pretty excited. I got my hands on one of them tonight. Just a little advertising purposes. To view all the auction items like this one, famous diamond bracelet number 105, donated by Crown Jewels, you just have to click on the unique URL you were sent after registering or log into your account. If you haven't registered, don't worry. You can still do so for free at bisonbittersbowl.com and just click on registration. The auction will remain open until Monday, October 5th at 9 p.m. Central, but don't wait. Get those bids in early. If you didn't notice, there's a security guard right <laughs> over there. Oh, I noticed. So don't try sneaking out early. It's beautiful. Your bids in support of this event are greatly appreciated. Let's not forget the purpose of this event. Dollars raised from this auction have a direct positive impact on the lives of NDSU students through scholarships, academic research, and student-focused programs. Throughout the night, we'll be sharing how philanthropic support helps NDSU students. You can help support students through your unique URL by clicking on Scholarship Fund Donation at the top of the page, then make a cash donation. All gifts are appreciated, and they do impact the NDSU experience for students. And those bids have already been coming in tonight. They are. And on the screen above us, you'll see this scrolling list. You've probably been seeing it already. No, this isn't a list of closures because of bad weather like you typically see on our newscast. These are business partners and individuals who have made pre-event cash and item donations. We're so thankful for those. They are the people who have made this event possible tonight, and we can't say it enough. Thank you. And speaking of that support, we'd like to thank... Gate City Bank for being this event's presenting sponsor. Gate City Bank is a long, long time NDSU partner of this event, and it would not be possible without their support. In fact, a few members of the Gate City Bank team are watching together tonight. Let's check in with them as we do with everything in 2020 through Zoom. <laughs> there are the Swantics on the left hand side, Steve and Marianne. I got a chance to meet them in Frisco, Texas this year. In fact, I had lunch with them. You won't find two nicer peeper, people and two bigger supporters of NDSU. <laughs> Quite the party there. Well, we're having a great time. Part of the fun of presenting this event virtually this year is that NDSU alumni and friends are tuning in and bidding 
from all across the country, not just the Crystal Ballroom at the Delta by Marriott in Fargo, as in years past. So we say welcome to all our new viewers, and we hope new bidders. <laughs> Let us know how you are viewing and participating in Bison Bidders Bowl from home this year. You can share your photos using the hashtag NDSUBBB39. That's NDSUBBB39. There's also a chat feature on the YouTube stream. This technology <laughs> is just blowing me away. <laughs> Comment on where you are joining us from. It's always fun to see the reach of Bison Nation. We'll try to keep, keep you updated on the hashtags and all that stuff. We'll be watching those throughout tonight. And more technology yet. To track tonight's views, we've got this cool heat map. Take a look. It looks a lot like the Bison Tracker to Frisco or Fargo South, as many Bison fans call it. Dana, you just mentioned you made the trip to Frisco last year. A fun trip. You were one of those dots on the tracker. I just took 30 years off between <laughs> national championship visits. Otherwise. I went, I went in 1990 and then in 2020. Yeah. I, got, needed, I needed the break. Yeah, got some good ones. Always fun to see. And there are a few people gathering safely to watch tonight's program. They're likely on the tracker. Let's take check in with them and see how the night's going. This is Michael and Danielle Nicholas in Plymouth, Minnesota. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Love to see that bison pride. Michael is the alum there. All right. But they both have horns. <laughs> they definitely do. And another one, let's take a look at Jenny and Mark Hopkins. They are coming to us from Denver, Colorado. Cool. <laughs> They might have to work out their Zoom background. I think they have some issues there with the disappearing, but not a lack of bison pride for sure. Mark's having some chroma problems. Jenny is uh, the NDSU Foundation Executive Governing Board Chair. So we thank her for her service and her donation of time to the Foundation Board for sure. And, and finally, people who are not together, but they're together with us. This is Leif and Kristen. Leif is in Lukenbach, Texas. I think there's a country song with that <laughs> town in it. And Kristen is from Why Not. We thank you for joining us tonight. Absolutely. Always fun to see those parties. And we can all be together, even if it is through Zoom tonight. And we know a lot of you are looking forward to some Bison football tomorrow. And look who showed up tonight. Bison football's biggest fan, Thundar. There's the music. Cue the song. <laughs> One of the most popular guys in Bison League. Thundar, what do you have with you? You've got props tonight. That looks like a football signed by the NDSU football coaching staff. And if you're watching at home, that is package number 134. Take a look. A lot of people interested in this auction item. Gave you a big job tonight, Thundar, huh? Carrying that precious cargo. Very, very nice. We thank you for delivering the football, and we thank you for doing your part. You're masked up tonight. Yes, love to see that. Okay, we know you're predicting a bison win for tomorrow, obviously. How big of a bison victory are we going to see? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, no doubt there. Definitely a big win. And you have a big job tomorrow, too. Are you excited? Big night, <laughs> big night sleep? All right, good luck to you tomorrow. Take care of that football. Yep. Three-point pressure, my friend. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Thundar. <laughs> and we know NDSU st student-athletes have the support of fans all across Bison Nation on game day. Through team makers and name scholarships, benefactors play a major role in ensuring NDSU can recruit excellence year after year. And they sure do, don't they? Here's Coach Entz and a few players to tell you more about the value of philanthropic investments. My family and I have been at NDSU now for seven years, seven unbelievable years. Having the opportunity to work with such great young men, uh, an unbelievable administration, uh, and an outstanding faculty, second to none, uh, has made this uh, an unbelievable experience and something that I look forward to being part of for years to come. Uh, I wouldn't trade my NDSU experience for the world. Uh, coming out of high school, I had one, one scholarship offer, and it was to, uh, to NDSU, and shoot, I mean, I. I thank, I thank God for the blessing of, you know, being able to come here every single day. Uh, NDSU is like a, you know, Fargo, every, the whole community is like a family to me. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, from the second I got on campus, I, I mean, the support was unbelievable. Um, I mean, it, it's everything, everything here is Bison. Bison football, I mean, Bison athletics, everything. I mean, you know, from going just out on, like, after a practice, going out to eat, people know who you are if you're wearing an, NDSU athletic shirt, they know who you are, they show their support every day. So uh, I came up here to North Dakota State for my first time and had an unbelievable experience. And then when I received that athletic scholarship through the football program, um, I knew it was something special. Um, just had a lot of people that were supporting me, 
um, from Fargo, um, from the NDSU, and also just other people around me. So there's nothing like it. Uh, it's no other place I'd rather be. Can't wait to see some of you guys here at the Dome tomorrow. Excited for you guys to be here. And for those of you that can't make it, uh, hopefully you guys are tuning in, watching Bison Nation perform. Um, we wouldn't be anything without you guys. Uh, we continue to thank you for all your support that you guys give us. Did we hear that right? Christian Watson had one scholarship offer coming out of high school. That's bananas. Everybody missed him, except NDSU. He's a great player. And it will be great to see the team back at Gate City Bank Field tomorrow. Thank you, Coach Anson players, and we certainly wish you well tomorrow. And as you heard, scholarships make a world of difference for NDSU student athletes. Remember, you can make a cash gift in support of NDSU scholarships via your unique URL anytime from now through Monday, October 5th at 9 p.m. That's next Monday night. And while you're making your cash donation, don't forget to make your bids. There are some fantastic packages you just don't want to miss. It is fun to see those bids climbing, yeah. and they are climbing. A lot of support for Bison Nation. And going back to football for just a second, if you're a big college football fan, this is such a great experience, really incredible. College Rivalry Showdown, it's called. It's package number 103. This is a trip for two with lower level seats at a regular season FBS College Rivalry football game of your choice. This is huge. I have to cut in here. The <laughs> FBS, this is your yes. chance to be part of some of the biggest buzz in college sports outside of NDSU. You could see USC, UCLA, or USC Notre Dame, Alabama, Auburn, Alabama, <laughs> that Auburn, Alabama, Ohio State, Michigan, <laughs> Army, Navy. I would pay money to see that game. Florida, Georgia, Florida State, Miami, Texas, Oklahoma. That's just to name a few. And don't worry, this package is good for next year's football season when hopefully we're all back to normal. You will have plenty of time to contemplate the best game you can find. And we say thank you to Keith and Kathy Peltier for their donation of the rivalry game. What a wonderful donation. That one's gonna make a lot of money. Maybe you're not ready to travel. Maybe you prefer to stay at home. I know the long winter can cause us to get a little bit stir crazy and it is right around the corner. To get out and stay active, look at the ice fishing package. That's number 120. Little fun fact, I actually emceed an ice fishing contest years ago. <laughs> It was a high point. Tonight might be a little bit better, a little warmer at least. It's an all-inclusive package of equipment, which includes a tackle bag, a rod case, a rod, a reel, pop-up, ice house, and auger. And uh, everything you need to be the ice fisherman on the ice without the fish. So enjoy that one. Another one is the cross-country skiing equipment package. That's number 133. Hit the cross-country trails with this top-of-the-line equipment, including two pairs of boots, two sets of poles, and two sets of skis. We want to thank Moore Engineering Incorporated and employees for that. They're right here. Really impressive equipment here and beautiful to boot. There's the ice fishing stuff I just mentioned, and here is the cross-country skis, courtesy of Moore Engineering and its employees. Just beautiful, beautiful items beyond just functional and fashionable. And there are several employees who made that package possible. Please visit the website for the full list of contributors. We say thank you again. This next package has one of the most buzzworthy on this auction. The Big Sky Ski Vacation Home, package number 102 and 107. Yes, two packages. There is a summer and a winter option to enjoy the beautiful scenery and slopes of Lone Peak Mountain of Big Sky, Montana. Look at those pictures. They're postcards. <laughs> and I've been to Montana. Every way you look, north, south, east, west, it's all a postcard. And this next piece is gorgeous. It really is. And it's even more gorgeous, Dana, up close. I have my eye on this one. It is an incredible original charcoal bison piece by Jace Hall. This is package number 112 if you're following along on your program. Now, up close, it is just the detail, so impressive. And it would look great, Dana, in our office pod. We don't exactly have a, an office office <laughs> in our newsroom, but I will share this with the pod. It really is incredible. Check out how it's made.
Now, I think it's possible we could maybe do the smiley face at the beginning, but after that, you kind of lose us. But really, an incredible piece, a one of a kind, and uh, something that any bison lover would love. Speak for yourself. I can't even make an asterisk <laughs> correctly. It's great to hear from the NDSU Bison football team earlier. We'll be hearing from a couple more students and the NDSU concert choir just a little bit later. Shouldn't we be hearing from President Prashani sometime I should, soon? I should go I mean, we check. we got to be getting close. I'll look at maybe in the patio here. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Christy, thank God it's Thursday. I've had a heck of a week. I know, oh but my look gosh. at me. I've got the Kansas State game. Oh, oh my, my gosh. I need this. I really need this. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait for the end of the week. But, honey, it is the end of the week. It's what? Friday. Friday. God, I swear we had something to do on Friday night. What? What do we have? What, what do we have? Oh my gosh! Bison bitters ball! Oh my God. Wait, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't go change. Oh okay, I can't get drunk. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> We came to this place with a quiet fortitude. With our hands, we built sod houses. We tilled the land and sowed the seeds. We laid down roots through the strength of generations. We put our spirit of service to work, making this place an economic driver for our town, our region, and our state. Throughout our history, we've led innovation and developing solutions for the world. We've applied engineering and science to advance research. We've put creative ideas to work to power the country. We've worked tirelessly alongside each other to give the best of ourselves to humanity. We've competed together opened the doors to opportunity and created prosperity. And now we turn to the future with that same sense of fortitude, tenacity, and grit. We'll pass the baton to our students, dreamers who know the value of hard work so that they may strive and thrive as we have. We'll transform them from learners to leaders as we conduct research that matters in the humanities, health, business, technology, and agriculture. We hold our history and our future in our hands because we are the stewards of the land-grant mission of North Dakota State University. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, hi. Oh, hi. We're glad you could make it. I'm Save really it. glad I did, too. Save that popcorn. <laughs> well, what you, popcorn? I don't even... You made it across University <laughs> Drive yeah. safely. Yeah. Boy, no, I, I've been right out here. <laughs> oh, I, this is an important event. You don't you mess did, around with something like you, this. Exactly. When you got Bison fans <laughs> waiting for you. That's exactly... No, you don't mess around. <laughs> we weren't going to start without you. That's right. Excellent. And you're out. <laughs> You've been in quarantine for a couple of weeks. What in the world was that like? Yeah. Well, you know, I got to tell you, it was a low risk exposure, but I'm kind of glad it happened. We spend a lot of time telling our faculty, staff, and students to do the right thing. Low risk, high risk, anything, do the right thing. And I think seeing the president do that and do it to literally the hour that was 14 <laughs> days of quarantine and honor that and not be seen out in public. I didn't drive to the grocery store. I didn't sneak out for walks, doing it right. I got a lot of feedback from our campus of, wow, even the president does this stuff? I need to take this seriously. And, I, and I, it was a good experience for me to understand what those people are going through who are quarantined, yeah. but even more importantly, to model the behavior that we're asking of our campus community. Well, we thank you for that, and we are so glad that you are well as well. You actually gave your State of the University address this morning. How do you feel that the faculty, the staff, the students, everyone on campus is dealing with this new normal that we're facing? You know, it's really interesting you would say that because I think our faculty are very frustrated. They're not able to do their job the way they want to do it at the highest possible level, face-to-face, -face, in person with every single one of their students. 
Our students, on the other hand, are so excited to be at NDSU. They're so excited to be on campus. They're so excited to not be at home with mom and dad anymore. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, mom and dad are pretty excited about that too. <laughs> yeah. They think it's going great. They recognize it's not like it normally is, like it should be, like they'd really want it to be. But they're so excited. They really are cutting our faculty a break. When things don't quite go perfectly, they, they get it. And all the research and, and conversations we're having with students, they're just happy that they were able to come back to NDSU because they know around the nation, places either didn't open or they opened and then they closed and sent everybody home. Our students are here in person, either in the class or through high flex, real time video conferencing, participating in the class. They get that this is a lot better deal than they would have anywhere else in the nation. We watched a video highlighting the campaign that you're running while you were walking across <laughs> from your home. The inter you're about a year into this public phase of the $400 million in your hands campaign. You've raised more than $375 million. Incredible. What is important for alumni and friends of the university to know about the stage it's in right now? Well, it, it, it's terribly exciting. After one year to be this close to our goal, I think speaks volumes about the people that care about NDSU, but it's not simply NDSU. They care about our students. They care about our faculty. They care about our facilities. They care about the experience that the people in our university community are having, and they want it to be better. And we're getting national attention for the things we're doing to make that environment better. People stepping up so early, so often, in so significant ways is actually getting people who don't have an affiliation with NDSU involved. One of our biggest gifts so far has been a $5.5 million gift from the Menard family of the hardware mm -hmm. chain. They have no affiliation with NDSU. Mm -hmm. They've just been impressed by what our donors are doing and said there must be something special going on there. And the, who benefits from that is the future of our state, it's the future of our students, it's the future of our economy. Mm -hmm. Those are all superlatives, but it's something very important that we're doing here. You definitely see the big picture there. Now, student support is what tonight is all about. It is something that has been your focus from day one. Connect the dots for people as far as how their bids at home tonight, them sitting on their phones or their laptops, is translating into making a difference in the lives of NDSU students here on campus every day. I'm really glad you asked that because Bitters Bowl historically was, oh, I put some money on the table and I get to walk away with a green and gold mailbox <laughs> or some, some sort of bling. That's not what Bison Bitter Bowl is about. It's about supporting our students. It's about supporting our faculty. But first and foremost is always our students. The more students that we can provide access to an NDSU education, the better NDSU becomes, the bigger its impact becomes. The more students who have maybe even dreamed of coming to NDSU and have that door open for them, it is a life-changing experience. And you know, some of the things we've celebrated today, Aldevron, which started with two young students at NDSU, one from Carrington, the other one from New Zealand. They end up in a lab together, and before you know it, they're the leaders of the biggest producer of DNA in the world. Not just North Dakota, not just the United States, the world. Mm -hmm. That's the magic that happens at NDSU. But students have to have the opportunity to experience that. They have to have the opportunity to get in. And when our donors contribute support that allows for more scholarships, we can become competitive with some of the best universities in the nation who also want those students and are giving them scholarship support. We're in a catch-up game here. We're in a very competitive market. But we think we've got a better experience and a better product. We just need more opportunities for students to be exposed to it. And with that, we say thank you uh, for coming over. Now you can go back to your couch <laughs> and to your bowl of popcorn, yeah. and you can take the rest of the evening off. We're glad you if came. You so That's choose. quite a sales pitch. Thank and, you. And an effort. Go, go Bison. <laughs> Have to end with that, too. And there is no better or more important time to give in support of NDSU and its students. NDSE students are doing some amazing things across campus, as you just heard from President Prashani. There are some great stories on the campaign website in our hands NDSU.com, in our hands, NDSU.com. From scholarship recipients like NDSU quarterback Trey Lance. Heard Have of you him? heard of him? <laughs> <laughs> if not, you will soon. And engineering major Sadia Hassan, who started her software business before she was a freshman. Before she was a freshman. That's just incredible. Let's take a look at our donor board. We have some cash gifts already coming in. 
There's the total so far, $9,700. We are so close to that $10,000 mark. So if you're sitting at home watching this, you know, you could be the one, send it over. We're getting close. And now is the time to help impact the lives of NDSU students like Trey and Sadia. Oh, there, we just flipped over $10,000. That was a pretty good sales pitch on my part, I no guess. Dr no drum roll either. <laughs> <laughs> to make a cash donation of any dollar amount, use your unique URL to access the bidding site. Click on Scholarship Donation Fund at the top of the page. If you haven't registered to bid, what are you waiting for? You'll need to do that at buysandbiddersbowl.com to make a cash donation. And always fun to see those numbers rise over $10,000 now. Look at, look at the smaller ones. Mm. 1,000, 500, 100, 100, 250. Everything adds up after a while, and we're now at $10,295. And we want to thank everyone for making cash donations right now. And please keep doing so throughout the night so we can see that number climb. And remember, we would love to see how you're celebrating tonight. Don't forget to post your pictures throughout the night using this hashtag, NDSUBBB39. That's NDSUBBB39, and we're showing you some right now. There's Kyle Emanuel. He'll be busy on Sunday. He's playing football for the Raiders. He says, NDSU friends, he's talking to all of you at home supporting the Bison Bitters Bowl. Here's our setup from yesterday. We're here again at the McGovern Alumni Center. And Robert Loff, we met him earlier in our video. Tonight's the night, he says, be sure to register. In our hands, the NDSU Foundation, the 39th Annual Bison Bitters Bowl presented by Gate City Bank. It has started, and oh, look at that <laughs> cute Bison fan. Her first Bison Bitters Bowl. Oh, Bison. <laughs> All right. I hope she Jamie... can bid on something. <laughs> Mom, give her the credit card. <laughs> Jamie Tate. We saw Jamie Tate in our welcome as well. That's exactly right. Thank you for sharing all of your pictures and sharing with us on social media. It looks like everyone at home is having a great night. The Bison Bitters Bowl is known for its entertainment. Every year, the NDSU Foundation collaborates with NDSU Performing Arts to include entertainment of all sorts. This year, in our virtual setting, we're excited to showcase the NDSU Concert Choir. As with so many things in 2020, this performance looks a little bit different. In accordance with NDSU campus guidelines, the singers are outside and they're masked. So it's like we have our very own version of the Mass Singers tonight. Very popular show right now and we have our own version. Students doing their part, being safe to do what they love and entertain us. So take a second, refill your drink, grab some more food, enjoy these performances, some beautiful music by some really talented performers here on campus. We have how Can I Keep From Singing by the NDSU Concert Choir, led by Dr. Joanne Miller, and Somewhere Over the Rainbow by the Bison Art Singers, led by Dr. Mike Weber. Enjoy. No sword can shoot. 
I hope you're all, <laughs> all waving. Yeah. How many pictures do you think are taken by that bison? Oh, my goodness. They sure liked that bison in the video, and what talent to those oh. students. Awesome to hear them, the great talent of NDSU students. So we say thank you to Dr. Joanne Miller, the NDSU Concert Choir, Dr. Mike Weber, and the Bison Arts Singers. And of course, the Challey School of Music. Scholarships are a major component of the Challey School of Music at NDSU. Through support of scholarship funds, benefactors, they can make a student's dream of an education at NDSU become a reality. All winning bids from this year's auction have a direct and a positive impact on the lives of NDSU students through scholarship, academic research, and student-focused programs. I think it's time to take another look at some of those great items. I know it's surprising that I want to put the focus <laughs> back on shopping. You don't know what an online shopper I am. <laughs> Wait, actually, that's my line. I want to put the focus back on shopping, too. You aren't going to believe this item. Check this out. This is a signed guitar, a bass guitar signed by Paul McCartney and did some research. Paul McCartney apparently left-handed, so this is a left-handed guitar. Uh, all you lefties out there, I really want to pick it up, but I'm really afraid to drop oh, it. Oh, no, no, we have a request. <laughs> Somebody has texted in they want you to play either Hey Jude or Yellow Submarine. Oh, I thought you were going to say Stairway to Heaven. We no. have some time. No, it's Paul McCartney. We have to play a, <laughs> oh, a Beatles one. That's a good point. And we know you can do it because you were playing songs in rehearsal. That's exactly so right. So don't get shy now. I don't want to show off. <laughs> but an incredible item here and a signed guitar by Paul McCartney actually works, functioning guitar. He, by the way, the richest, most successful rock star of all time, $1.2 billion he's worth, he touched this. It's, I'm, I'm impressed by this one. Bid now, number 108, add this to your collection. Didn't somebody once say the Beatles would never make it? <laughs> no, not. I have never heard of this next package, but I'll tell you right now, I want it. It's, it's the Gold Star Marching Band Alarm Clock Package. It's number 104. I love this. Members of the NDSU Gold Star Marching Band and Dr. Sigurd Johnson will arrive at a home of the winning bidder's choice for a friendly early morning wake-up call playing on Bison. That sounds <laughs> like so much fun. I think you all know a few people that you'd like to send it to, don't you? Right? Not us. <laughs> We're night people. That's, that's exactly right, but... But I'm thinking you can't just wake up one person oh, at a home. An entire neighborhood. It's a neighborhood. But so I so say what? we pool our money. Oh. John Wheeler coming oh. for you. Yep. Dom Izzo. Oh. He would love this stuff. I'll kick in on Dom. <laughs> Definitely. We pool our money now. Thank you to the Gold Star Marching Band for that donation. God, I want one of those. <laughs> I want to wake somebody up. I think they've done downtown Fargo one year, North Fargo one year, and it definitely is an entire neighborhood. Next up, one that definitely shines in person, this Bison Skull Package. This is number 216 in your program. This is an authentic Bison Skull detailed in yellow and green glass. Hopefully you can see it here. Just spectacular glass work done by Mosaics by Shelley, and it truly is even more spectacular here in person. We want to thank Heartland Bison Ranch and Aaron and Jamie Tate. This mosaic work, I have done it, nothing to this level, is so intricate and so spectacular. And you could have this in your home, number 216 in your program. Can we get it for the pod too? Have matching bison? <laughs> I think we might have some splaining to do, but <laughs> we can do it. And we say thank you to Mike and Barb Jones for donating this next one, a hosting package. Scottsdale Dinner for Six, it's number 132. Enjoy a gourmet dinner with wine prepared especially for you by a private chef. Did we say it's Scottsdale, Arizona? And a fabulous dinner. Say no more. I think I want that one too. And this, by the way, is redeemable for up to a year. So if you're not quite ready to make the trip yet, you can wait one year to do it, a fabulous dinner. And remember, you can make a cash donation anytime through the bidding site. Just want to remind you of that just again. Just click on Scholarship Fund Donation at the top of the page. Take a look at our funds raised right now. We are over $14,000, 14295 to be exact. And you, right now, 
If you're just tuning in, you can still register to bid to change that number to click it up at buysandbiddersbowl.com. Just bid on some great auction items. We've been showing you just a few of them here tonight, but we have been watching those bids climb. People behind the scenes have worked very hard to make an amazing auction for you here tonight. Things that you can't get anywhere else you can find in the Bison Bidders Bowl auction. Bidding will remain open until 9 p.m. Central on October 5th. So pool your money and uh, you can get that marching band in someone's neighborhood that you love. Such unique items. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Absolutely. We've been telling you throughout the night of the importance of scholarship support. I am the product of a scholarship that was truly life-changing for me and for my family. I know firsthand the impact of your gifts that you're giving tonight. People I never knew supported me, believed in me, and for some students, your gifts tonight make the difference of being able to go to college or not. The scholarship is that deciding factor. Tonight, we are excited to share with you a video from one of NDSU's students about the impact scholarship dollars have made for her education. My name is Erica Cotter. I am from Champlain, Minnesota, which is a little bit north of the Twin Cities. I am the middle of three children. I have an older sister and I have adopted brother. I am currently a sophomore at NDSU and Minot State University because I'm in the social work and HDFS dual degree program. My career aspirations um, is to pretty much help people in the foster care system. Here, my brother is adopted. And so I, at the age of eight, saw how he was being treated in the foster care systems. He was abused, neglected, emotionally, physically, and verbally. And so I decided from that point on that I was going to be the person that made the difference in those kids' life because in my philosophy is pretty much every child deserves a better life than what they're getting. So with this career, I intend to change the foster care system and be a child advocate for those that don't have a voice. So all throughout high school, my parents' philosophy was we get you to 12th grade and once you go into college, college is your own responsibility. The money aspect of college was extremely stressful on me because I didn't know where I was going to get the money and I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to get any financial aid or scholarships. So having to work through my entire high school and I am currently working multiple jobs throughout college right now to help support myself. Um, without receiving the se several scholarships that I did, I wouldn't, I'd be struggling to be here. And so ha receiving those from the gracious donors allows me to further my education and put me one step closer to becoming a child advocate and for working within the foster care system so no child has to go through what my brother did. Scholarship funds are an amazing way to help give back to your community. I don't think people realize that even the smallest amount can make such a huge difference in some people's lives. Thank you, thank you so much. You have no idea how big of a difference you made in my life. You helped me to be able to focus more on my education and not have to stress about my job or about family life. And so it's making it easier for me to help control what I want to do and is helping me go one step forward to doing what I want to do. Thank you, Erica, for sharing your story with us. Hi, I'm Brianna, a Bison Ambassador here at NDSU. Like Erica, I'm an NDSU scholarship recipient. Your gift in support of scholarships opens up access to education and opportunities for students like me. As a biotechnology major, scholarships allow me to focus on my studies to pursue my ultimate career goal of conducting critical scientific research. Even more, scholarships allow me the time to be involved in important student organizations like Bison Ambassadors. As a Bison Ambassador, I get to help share stories of philanthropy to NDSU students. But perhaps the most important way that scholarships have impacted my life is by validating my goals. You see, when students like me fill out scholarship applications, we're asked to discuss our goals for the future. And when we receive those scholarship funds from people like you, you are telling us that our goals are worthy, that our goals need to be accomplished. So on behalf of all NDSU scholarship recipients, thank you for affording us these opportunities. And thank you for believing in our goals. I look forward to the day when I will be able to give back to support future NDSU students myself. And we say thank you, Brianna. What a talented student. Biotechnology, maybe mass communication. Oh, they're just they're just <laughs> same almost. Like... 
Yeah, how techy are we? Thank you, very, <laughs> very eloquent. Now is the time to make your cash gift in support of students like Brianna and like Erica. On the bidding site, click on the scholarship donation fund at the top of the page to make your gift and impact lives of NDSU students. $14,200, you can see the individual donations to the right, 25, 1,000, 500, 100, the numbers keep climbing. That's what NDSU wants. That's what NDSU students need. Your support tonight is much appreciated. We say thank you to everyone. We say thank you, Bison Nation. And we talked to some of the donors who are making those gifts of 1,500 mm -hmm. beyond dollars, and they definitely didn't want to be recognized. They want to support Bison Nation, but the, the modesty and the generosity of Bison Nation definitely on display tonight as that number climbs. We'd love to see it climb even more before our program is over. But we are nearing the end of our program now. And really, what a great night we've had. A little bit different than normal. And I know I'll remember the wonderful students we have met here tonight. With your support, they are the leaders of tomorrow. And it's so great to see such talented and successful students right here in our community. Those students thankful to you for being their foundation and providing such generous support to allow them to chase their dreams. You are such an important part of Bison Nation. And if you haven't made your cash gift yet, what are you waiting for? Remember, you have until Monday, though, October 5th at 9 p.m. Central to make that gift on the bidding site. It's fun to see those bids climb on these really, truly amazing amazing packages. And again, we say thank you to all the business partners and individuals who donated auction items and cash. Cash, that is. And of course, a special thank you to our presenting sponsor tonight, Gate City Bank. You saw them earlier at their watch party. We say hello again. We hope you're still having a great time and, and staying with us. And don't forget, keep bidding on those packages we just flashed up on your screen. You have your favorite auction package in mind. We know you do. The auction, again, will remain open until Monday. That's October 5th, 9 p.m. Central. So mark your calendar, set the alarm, just so you don't end up like Dean Bershani, President Bershani, <laughs> running across the road last minute. Every dollar makes an impact, and your generosity is appreciated more than you can possibly know. And we look forward to seeing you in person for the 40th Bison Bitters Bowl. The committee has big and exciting things planned for next year. You will definitely want the best seats in the house. Speaking of the best seats in the house, bid on package 101 to enjoy a special menu served by your own waiter for the evening, along with a few exclusive special touches. We hear this is a big deal. We hear this is a <laughs> must-have auction item. We want to hear more stories about this table because this was the, oh, yeah. that's well. the one. <laughs> this sounds like the best way to enjoy Bison Bitters Bowl, and we know you're at home pulling the money to celebrate the 40th year in style. When you win that table, you walk in next year <laughs> bulletproof and seven feet tall. That's exactly right. To close out our program tonight, we have again the Bison Arts Singers. We say thank you for joining us. We have had a blast tonight. We hope you have too. Keep bidding. We go until next Monday at 9 p.m. Central Time. And as always, we say good luck to the Bison tomorrow. <laughs> go Bison. Good night, everyone. Hi, I'm Brady Ritland, and we are the Bison Arts Singers. On behalf of all NDSU students, thank you so much for your donations and bids this Bison Bitters Bowl. They make a world of difference. To close out the program, we'll be singing the yellow and the green. Please feel free to sing along with us. Oh, cheer for green eyes.